All right, we're back with the maintenance on the SV650. As you can see, I got the uh, oil draining out of it. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, there's a 14 millimeter bolt that goes here at the bottom. Um, that's what drains the oil out. Uh, the old filter is still on it. I'm about to take it off. Um, so I got a battery for it. But uh, again, this is why you don't buy um, parts at the automotive dealer. So the battery they gave me um, is fine, except for it doesn't quite fit down in the holder. It's a little bit wider than the original. Um, otherwise it would fit just fine. It just doesn't go down in there because the top of the uh, shock adjustment there sticks back a little bit too far. So the battery is too wide and it won't slide down into the spot where it's supposed to be. So this battery is gonna have to go back to Advance Auto and I'm gonna have to go to Suzuki and get an actual battery that fits this thing. We had the same problem on my friend's uh, Hayabusa not too long ago. Uh, it's just ridiculous. I don't know why they can't just give you the same battery, but whatever. Um, so the other day I lubed the chain up and, but I need to clean it. I just lubed it up just so it doesn't rust because I washed the bike. So, um, um, I'm gonna have to take care of that. However, I do have a brand new set of Michelins. That one's got a sticker over it. Um, the Road 5s. Now this is a 180-55-17 tire. Um, that bike actually takes a 160. Um, but if you look carefully, right in here, well, you can't really see it, but right in here, there's actually quite a bit of space between the tire and the frame. So I don't think it's gonna be an issue <clears throat> mounting a 180 tire on it. I got a 180 tire because a friend of mine was nice enough to give me a set of his Road 5s that he managed to acquire at a killer uh, deal. So um, he was nice enough to give me those Road 5s, which we all know are not cheap. So that's what's gonna go on it. The only question I have is on this side where the chain is, hopefully it won't touch the chain. Hopefully, that's the, uh, that's the goal, but we'll see what happens. Um, so I think maybe right after the holidays, I'm gonna take the tires off and um, I'm gonna <clears throat> uh, put the new tires on it and figure out what's up with the back brake because the back brakes aren't working. I need to order up the brake pads and the brake lines. So I'll probably do that in the next week or two. And uh, so for today, there's gonna be the oil change and um, maybe a couple other little things, I don't know yet. Um, so I got finished up the oil change and then I'm also gonna move this lever down because it sits up too high. My feet are up way too high. This lever needs to go down to about mm, probably right here. So I'm gonna adjust that so it sits farther down. All I'm going to do is I'm going to crack this loose. I'm going to take it off and I'm just going to adjust it down just a little bit. So this lever goes down about an inch. Um, other than that, uh, I don't know what else I'm going to do today, but we shall see. All right. So I decided to pull the uh, clutch lever off and um, there's a bolt right here. This one goes in through the top and there's a nut on the bottom, both 10 millimeter. And you pull this out and then the... Uh, clutch lever will come off. And then basically you just gotta take the cable out of this notch. But uh, as you can see, I took it off and you can see all this gunk built up in here. And uh, it's kind of dirty up in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some brake clean, spray it out, uh, wipe it out real good. I'm gonna clean all this off. And I'm gonna put some white lithium grease on it, um, grease it up. And uh, I'm also gonna spray a little bit of WD-40 down the uh, cable, just a, well, like one squirt and it'll be good. And then I'm going to put it back together and um, take care of that. Um, the oil's done. Um, I had just enough oil at home. I use AMS oil, but I guess you could use whatever you want. But um, as long as it's motorcycle oil. But uh, I have AMS oil. That's what I always use. So uh, I had just enough at home, um, just enough for this bike. And then I ran out. And um, I'm not going to walk around and show you because there's boxes over there. But um, the oil level is right up to the full line. Um, like a smidget below. So I had just enough, thank goodness. And um, so that's taken care of. But now I'm gonna do the clutch lever and I'm also gonna do the brake lever and I'll show you what that one looks like. 
But uh, right now I'm gonna clean all this up and then put it back together. All right, so I got the brake side done as well. Um, to take this off, for those of you that don't know, there's a 10 millimeter nut right here on the bottom um, of this screw. And then you <clears throat> take your flathead and just unscrew this. This lever just pops right out. And then I cleaned it all up, put some white lithium grease on it, put it back together, tighten the nut, and now it's uh, good to go. Same thing on this side, looking good. I still need to work out the squeak. I need to work it in a little bit more. I sprayed some WD-40 in there, but I need to just work that in a little bit so it'll stop squeaking. Other than that, it's uh, looking good. And um, I think I'm done for today. Um, I need to take that battery back tomorrow and uh, get that exchanged out so I can put the seat back on. But before I do, the next thing I got put spark plugs in it. So like I mentioned in my previous video, one is right in here. I'm gonna try to move this forward. Just kind of tilt it just enough so I can get a uh, socket and a um, ratchet in there to get that one out. The other side is way up in there. So I'm gonna have to take this gas tank and lift it up, um, see if I can get underneath there. And then, um, like I said, probably sometime after the holiday, I'm gonna get the tires replaced and uh, fix the brakes. I need to order front brake pads because of course the brake uh, order, I mean, the shop had the rears, but not the fronts. So I need to get on Revzilla and order that up. And um, I think after that, uh, clean the chain and I think it'll be ready to go. Um, I don't have license plates for it. So I need to get um, license plates going on it. Um, but I'm probably gonna wait until about February to put plates on it. I mean, I'm not gonna ride it anyway, so it's too cold. It's gonna get colder. So other than that, it uh, I think it'll be ready ready to ride. Um, you know, I gotta do some cleaning up, um, the handlebars, the mirrors, the fork, uh, that kind of stuff. But that's petty. So anyway, if uh, if you like the video and you want to see anything else, let me know. Leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe the video. And then I guess I'll see you in the next video.